Hello everyone. Uh, I made a recent um, map editor tutorial with like basic things in it. Um, it was helpful to some, but there was some stuff I obviously missed. Uh, I kind of did just short notes just to help other people. I didn't know that uh, a lot of people would actually need it because I didn't know that EA wouldn't just put something out there. Um, so I'm making this one to kind of help with some of the questions people had and kind of give some more detail on some of these things. Um, so if you look at the screen right now, you'll see this is what it looks like when you load it up if you're using Steam. Um, so you'll have these three options. So we're just going to go to Map Editor and click on that. And then it should load in a separate window uh, the actual Map Editor. And of course, if you see it, it'll be completely blank. And so we're just going to start from the beginning making a map to kind of the end. And one of the things I want to point out is that right now, the only real maps you can make are ones that can be used in a multiplayer setting. Uh, the single player ones where you add triggers or um, specific teams and waypoints, um, from what I've read and some other people, uh, they're not really working really well right now. Some people's programs are crashing and some of the things they're trying to write and script aren't being really successful. So this one's mainly going to be on making a map uh, for multiplayer setting. That doesn't mean you can't customize it to have custom buildings, custom uh, things set up for each player. It's just you can't do single player mode. All right, so we'll get started. Um, so you're going to go to File, and then go to New. And then you'll pick between Red Alert and Tiberium Dawn. I'm going to stick with, with Tiberium Dawn, and I'm going to go with Desert. Okay. So it might take a little bit um, to kind of load everything. So it'll pull up the map selection first, and then it gives you this right here. Um, what's important uh, is to know that inside the blue lines is where the map will be played. There's always going to be a one space gap because um, things that need to go out of the map and disappear, like planes that drop off reinforcements or um, things like that. So there will always be that gap on the side of the map. So if you want to customize and edit it, what you have to do is you hit control and left click. And you see how I'm spreading it to kind of what I do. I'm um, just kind of spreading around. And then when you let go of the left click, it'll make a new boundary. So to do that again, you'll control, left click, and then drag. Okay. And that resets the map for you. Um, so once you kind of have your area of your map set, um, you want to go in settings and you want to figure out what your map settings are. Um, now for the basic stuff, build level and carryover, uh, I've been looking to see what they're defining that as. Build level, I think, is how many buildings that you can have at once on the map. Carryover, I haven't found a definitive answer yet from EA. Name is the, the name of the map that you're going to be saving. 100% uh, means the 100% of the map is available, I believe. I could be wrong. And the player you start as, um, good guy, bad guy, neutral, special, multi-one. So if it's a multiplayer, it doesn't really matter as long as you have a waypoint for that one. Um, uh, we'll get into waypoints in a minute. But it's just for you to have, the author will be, you know, what your Steam username is. And then this, like I said, right now, single players aren't really working after you save them or even appearing. So I would just not worry about selecting a uh, single player. So next you go to briefing. That's just so if people see your map, it's kind of briefing of what it's about. So if it's like a multiplayer map, it'd be like this. This is my 4v4 map. Have fun. You know, you type whatever you want in there, whatever description, um, and then you would hit OK. Now players is just all the available players that can play on this map. Since it's not a single player map, you can get rid of good guy and bad guy. Neutral is still good if you want to place random civilians or buildings to add the aesthetic of the map. And then of course, any multiplayer. And once you're done with that, you hit OK. So then next, uh, it's kind of important to first kind of set up your map, uh, which is, you know, all the, the rocks and the trees and the bridges and the paths. It's good to set that up first so then you can kind of know where you can fill in the resources, where you can fill in the, the units or the waypoints. 
So I'm just gonna do something really simple. I'm not gonna do anything super um, crazy, but the way it works is for anything, including map, uh, terrain, I infantry, units, structures, resources, walls, waypoints, any of them, you will left click. What you wanna do, I'm gonna take a path here. If you need to zoom in, you can use your wheel. And then I'm gonna play, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna hit shift and then see it's ready for me to place. If you don't hold shift and you click, nothing happens. But if you hold shift, it should be available. And then I'm gonna click and I'll be there. One thing I also want you to notice, if you look in the bottom left right here, it'll give you some uh, explanation of what you need to do. So watch, I'm holding shift. Notice how down there it says left click to place template, right click to clear template. So basically saying if I right click, it places it on the map. If I shift right click, it gets rid of it. So again, left click, left click and shift is add and right click uh, shift is remove. That's going to be important to remember. So I'm just going to make kind of like, oops. So I'm just going to make a very basic, I'm not going to get super, super fancy. Um, so yeah, you'll, you'll design like rows, mountains, all the, all the stuff you want to make it as individual as possible for you. All right. So then that's all I want for that. What I'm going to do to kind of separate everything is I'm going to do kind of just a river across. Now, of course, if you want to see more, you can, you know, zoom in, but do, 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 do. And then I'll start over, scroll over here, place those, move this. And if you have something that ends up going out of that boundary map, it's okay. It won't affect the, the map that you save. It'll just, you know, stop right there. So that's all I want for uh, kind of designing the map part. So I'm going to go to smudge and kind of explain what smudge is, is basically things that indent the map to look like, you know, war actually happened. So I'm going to take some of these, place these around like there was some fighting that going on here. And then, you know, get a little few divots here to kind of show maybe some artillery shells or whatnot. So then, so that's it for those. Overlay um, basically is crates. Like if you want to place like a money crate or a, a crate where they level up or speed, you can click that and then place that there. And if they pick it up, then, you know, they get the bonus. All right, so if we go to terrain. Terrain is like more detailed rocks trees and then of course what's really important is the tiberium spawner you're gonna make sure you have some of these so but before i do that i'm gonna go to resources and the way resources work as i explained in the previous map is about brush size so right now it's one by one so then it's just one by one block so to get rid of that shift right click i want to do more so i usually like to do a three by three which looks like this or a five by five so i'm going to go up here to the top right of the map. I'm just gonna put some of these down right here, and then I'm gonna go the other side, kind of do the same thing. And then I'm gonna go to the other side and place my Tiberium there too. And then over here. Then the important part, like I said, is make sure that you put down the Tiberium spawners or it's just gonna disappear, right? So I usually do about two or three. Um, so I'm gonna go press shift. Now what the red part is, is where the actual Tiberium spawner is gonna be. Around it is kind of showing you, you know, kind of the shadow area or things that could fit around it. Um, so I'm gonna place one here and then I'm gonna place one here. So I got two Tiberium spawners. I'm gonna do that for each one, place one here place one here, go up top, place one here, place one here, and so on. All right, so now I have um, Tiberian and the spawners there. So now, um, waypoints. So say this is only a 1v1 map. So then all I would need to do is 
Multiplayer one starts with P0, which is player zero. So you want to make sure to remember, even though it says zero, it's still the first player. So I'll put sh hold shift and left click. And then I'll do player one over here. Now, if I wanted to be four where there's like two on each side, then of course I would go to the next one, which is two. Left click, sh shift, left click. And then number three, shift, left click. And so basically at this point, you can save it. As long as you have two waypoints on a map, at least, you can save it and then go back and re-edit it. Um, so right now, that's what I have. So I'm going to go and file, and I'm going to save as one I've already kind of been using. So I'm going to do it after this one. Yes, I'm going to replace it, but normally you could save as, and it'll be whatever you want. All right. So now um, I'm going to say maybe I want them to have a little bit of a buffer for a base as the start because when you start multiplayer you can select how many type of units they start with with their MCV so I'm gonna have them start maybe with like two defensive towers just to have in case someone wants to rush them to make it more fair for whoever plays so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in on a PO waypoint here I'm gonna go to structures and then I think I tarp G for guard tower so what I'm gonna do is right now it says good guy. I want it to be multiplayer one since that's where they're going to be spawning. And so I am going to place one. So shift left key here and here. And so right here you can adjust the strength. So like how much damage it has or doesn't have. Um, you can associate it with the trigger. Um, but like I said, for single player, it's not really working right now. So I would not do that. So that's multiplayer one. So let's say for multiplayer two, it's a different color. So I'm gonna do shift, left click, shift, left click. So now I'm gonna do three. I'm gonna scroll down here, shift, left click, shift, left click. And then the final one, number four, shift, left click, shift, left click. All right, so then now they kind of have things to kind of start with their MCV and everything. Um, if you wanted to place units, um, you know, you can pick whatever. I guess I'll just to show, I'll do a buggy for everyone. So remember, uh, multiplayer one's over here. It'll match the color. So put one there. Multiplayer two, one over here. Uh, multiplayer three, shift left click. And then four, shift left click. All right. So same for infantry. Uh, let's say I want to give everyone a minigunner. So we'll go back to the top. Same thing, shift, left click, make sure you have the right color and, and multiplayer. Go down, multiplayer three, multiplayer four, okay. So yeah, and then walls, um, they're not set to any team, so you can place them anywhere and it doesn't matter. So let's say I want to have um, some concrete wall set up in between. So you can actually hold shift and the left click and it'll actually let you go long distance like this. So say I can do that. So they're separated. Same thing here. Okay. There you go. Um, so that pretty much goes through all of these. Like I said, um, team types are something that you do uh, in single player. All I know so far is that you have to place it on who it is that is associated with the team, good guy, bad guy, multiplayer, whatever. And basically what it does is you select a certain type of unit. So like say a APC, how many, and then what they're gonna do. So you say you, your trigger that you set up, you select uh, you know two APCs. What they're going to do is they're going to move, uh, they're going to guard. So basically they're just going to stay there and if someone tries to attack the base, they'll guard it. And you have to do that for each one you want to add on the map for custom stuff. But like I said, it's a little buggy, so I'd suggest just working on multiplayer stuff now until EA releases more on uh, single player triggers and whatnot. And uh, also the triggers are here. Right click, um, just like in the adding teams, you right click to add something. You can name it whatever. You say what team it's for house is like what team it's associated with. 
looping is if you want him to like maybe follow a circle path to guard, you'd say yes and or. Um, event is basically, so say like uh, that vehicle that I talked about, the APC gets destroyed. The action is um, they lose the map. So basically it would be if those get destroyed, then it should trigger they lose the map. And once you actually have a team created, they'll be available here and say this will happen to this team. If this gets destroyed, they will lose the game. So like I said, that's kind of how they work. But again, it's not really working. So focus just on the multiplayer. All right, so that's pretty much uh, everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to file and save again. And you'll double check your map settings. Uh, the name I put, I'm going to put is CNC Map Editor Tutorial. And so then I'll just hit OK. Um, and then I'll save it again. And it should be free for you to use, at least in game. And I'll show you how to do that. But if you want to publish it, like I said in the previous video, you'll go to Publish. Um, notice that if you want to know where the map is, um, let me make sure. So it should be under the C drive, I'm pretty sure, let's go. So so mine is in my documents, CNC remastered. Uh, let's see, custom, local custom maps, Tiberian Dawn. And then it would have, you know, whatever in there. It should be in your C drive uh, somehow. Uh, I could look it up later, but like I said, I'm not gonna do that right now. You put your description of what the map is and then you'll hit publish and it'll say it's publishing and then it says done. Um, and then it should be on your Steam workshop. If you don't know what that is, it has a button on it that says click to go to Steam and it'll take you to the workshop. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it just to make sure and then I'm going to exit. And then I'm going to have to load the game back up again. Hit and play. It'll bring back up that menu screen again. And then, then I'm going to show you what it looks like. So here's, if you can see, you'll be in the main menu. What you'll want to do, if it's a multiplayer, you're going to go to uh, Skirmish and Online. And then what you should do is go to Custom. And it should be one of the ones under here in the green. Um, like here, mine says CNC Map Editor Tutorial. Um, so I'm right here. They're going to be number two. I'm number one, so I'm going to put myself here. And then number two is going to be here. So then basically the rules, you can set how many units you start with, game speed, how many credits, I'm going to give 10,000, all that stuff. And then you'll just hit start. And then see, notice, I have control of these guys because they're under me. Um, I have my MCV, I can employ it. Um, so yeah, that works for that. Um, if you have any questions or anything else, feel free to leave comments. I'd be happy to see what else I can figure out. Um, have a good one.